Steve Clyde Palmer agrees with that. He is in our Canberra studio this morning. Clyde Palmer, good morning to you. Good um, morning, Costume. Uh, first up, your view is not exactly radical tax reform, is it? Slugging smokers to pay for income tax cuts. <laughs> what, what do you think of that proposal? Well, you know, when a government fails, it continues to increase taxes. So it really means it can't be as efficient as the government went before it. Any increase in taxes are just made because you can't do the job as well as Julia Gillard or Kevin Rudd did or Tony Abbott did. Obviously, Malcolm Turnbull it needs to increase taxes. But why increase taxes? We need reform in this country. We need stimulation. We need to get our economy going. When Malcolm mm. stood for Prime Minister, he said, we've got to do something about the economy. But we haven't seen anything, unfortunately. Um, now, Mark Riley was forecasting... Um or predicting a really big week in politics as, you know, this Senate reform legislation going through. The government is pushing the changes to the Senate voting. Um, will this kill off the Palmer United Party? What do you think of these changes? Oh, I don't think so. I think a lot of Australians resent the fact that the government's trying to rig the Senate. And um, that, that many people will vote in the House of Reps, but they'll vote for uh, other parties in the Senate. I think that's clear because Australians don't want the system rigged against them. And uh, let's face it, if it wasn't for Palmer United, we'd have the co-payment, we'd have a, a higher education, we, we'd still, we would have lost the uh, uh, low-income super, low-income support. There would, be, uh, there, there would be no climate change authority, no arena. Uh, there would have been uh, no chef visas. 30,000 people would still yeah. be in detention. It just goes on and on. OK. Um, look, Malcolm Tur Turnbull has just notched up six months as PM. Um, rate him for us. Um, what, what rating would you give his performance? Well, I'd give him about a 6.5% on policy, but 100% on smiling and, uh, and uh, innovation. And uh, it's saying it's a great time to be an Australian, but it's not a great time for the over 1 million unemployed Australians. Yeah. All right, speaking of unemployed Australians, um, um, bring, us, bring us up to date with Queensland Nickel, the company that, that you own, went into administration, you bought it back again with um, an undisclosed uh, financial backer, and now it looks as though the, uh, the workers there are losing their jobs and, until at least July. Mm -hmm. um, what's going on there? Are you just playing with people's lives? No, what's happened there, of course, is that we... Um we were told by the administrators about uh, two weeks ago that they intended to close it down. And so uh, the joint venture that runs the show decided to dismiss the administrators, uh, get a finance package for the workers and to keep them in jobs. And uh, we then sought to have the uh, approvals from the refinery transferred to the new company. Uh, and, uh, and so there could be a seamless operation. Now the administrator decided to freeze the bank account, not hand over any of the cash. Um, and to cancel various ore supplies. So as a result of that, um, on the 11th of uh, March, we couldn't operate legally, so we had to, um, we couldn't re-employ those people. And uh, that's a great tragedy for so many families. But again, you know, when you come to entitlements, no oh. one from my company has ever not paid or agreed okay. not to pay entitlements. What do you need to happen to rehire those, those employees now, right now? Well, we're, we're, we're currently working together a list of people and sending them out um, uh, communications to see whether they want to come back. Because there'll be a certain proportion of the workforce that don't want to come back and ones that do. We've got to ascertain what the difference is and decide how we're going to plug that gap and how, what sort of Right, but you'll be proposing different conditions, won't you? You'll be trying no, to, we won't, to screw we'll... the workers for a better deal. No, we won't. We'll be offering the same conditions that okay. they had when they left, you know? OK, so you need the administrators to come to the party and the approvals to get through? We do, and we need to make sure we can get the right workers to do that. And we need the government to be at least supportive of manufacturing in Queensland. We should have it. You know, in China, the government spent $30 billion supporting their industry, and in Canada, they, they've got free electricity for the metals trading because they realise we're in a difficult time. OK. Clyde Palmer, thanks for joining us. Here, thanks a lot, Koshi. All the best.